Hi, Intuitive D1111 here, Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. I love reading you guys' comments. Thank you guys for supporting the channel here and taking time, supporting our family, right? And um, hitting the like button as well as subscribe and uh, the notification bell so you can know when I upload. Let's see what we have going on here. It says attention. Sit down right here. I want your full attention. So someone's telling y'all, see, that day. <laughs> Somebody wants your attention. And this is somebody that's been holding back from you. What is with this holding back energy? I'm so over that. Maybe it's because I have a lot of Aries placements. I don't got time. If somebody that has a lot of fire in their chart is not actively taking action, then there's a problem, okay? Somebody needs to hear that right here. Because most of us that have fire in our chart, like heavy fire in our chart, we're not playing those games, okay? We, we really don't like that holding back shit. Anyways, we like things up front. So with clarity, it says, it has always been you. I knew it when I first saw you. Damn. So if somebody has clarity that they want something more with you, they want you to, uh, they want you to sit your ass down somewhere so they can make you see. <laughs> no. Who is this? There's somebody I'm picking up on, and it's like, I don't know if they're always listening to music when you're dealing with this person, or if somebody is uh, just, you know how when you have a, like a lot of family or friends, or even yourself, somebody's an entertainer, and when they'll be having regular conversations, and all of a sudden they start busting out in a straight flow, or a straight, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, a, a straight song, whatever it is here, like, that's what I pick it up on here. So that's for somebody. Somebody is definitely very musically inclined here. We have, whoo, it says in control, dominate, take over. Somebody wants y'all to sit down for them to show you what they're going to do. <laughs> this could be a past person or this could be a new person here. Oh my God. Yeah, we got commitment. It says, I need to want you around for every day to start. Somebody over here. They trying to put a ring on it. They want to keep a ring on it. I don't know what this person want to do over here. Yeah, y'all out here driving somebody crazy. Okay? They said, listen, like, I don't know. I'm hearing somebody said somebody been gone for too long. Not gone for too long. Damn, where y'all been? <laughs> or where they been? It says obsessed. It says, I only think of you on two occasions. That's day and night. Damn, who is this? Hot on y'all's ass like this. This is, uh, you know, what the heck is going on over here? What the hell? Damn that. Listen. What is going on here? <laughs> it was not supposed to be this type of reading, y'all. I promise you. Listen. Somebody got some type of soul connection with y'all. They trying to have y'all come here. It's kind of giving everything off type energy. I don't know what to say here. Okay. And for some of y'all, it has to do with somebody seeing y'all connecting with somebody else or thinking that you connecting with somebody else. Like somebody could have heard through the grapevine, okay, that you doing too much. And this person's like, no, hold on. Like I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to get you, get you under control. Like I'm gonna need to, who is this? They are out of control, y'all. They feel y'all out of control. I don't know what y'all doing out here, but I feel like somebody is gossiping about what y'all been up to over here. And this past person or whoever else has their eye on you, they not having it because they feel like either you flipping a switch and you being too mysterious here, or they feel like um, you were focused somewhere else and they are not okay with that. Okay? They ain't okay with it. I mean, that's probably some audacity, <laughs> right? But yeah, they not okay with it. Yeah, we got the King of Wise out here. Woo, somebody here. This is very sexy energy to start off with. So somebody is definitely has a lot of chemistry with y'all, okay? Somebody could like the way that you dressed here. They like your build. Um, somebody could have... Uh, short hair or a mustache in the mix, okay? Somebody could even have, um, I don't know, tattoos here and there. Someone definitely could have a sleeve tattoo as well. Somebody could like to wear a lot of black. Somebody could change up their hair colors here or their hairstyles. I don't know here. Somebody sees you guys as a leader here, but I feel like 
whoever I'm picking up on this energy, they have that leadership, they have that leadership type energy. They really do. This is somebody that gets things going. Okay. Um, this is also someone that knows how to move different people here. So whether this is a past person or somebody that's around you or that you're manifesting in, this is a mover energy. Like this is somebody that knows how that's a catalyst. That's what I'm hearing. A catalyst. This person is a catalyst to get different things going and baby, they want to date you. <laughs> they want they want to get to know you more that's what i'm seeing here they feel like you guys are master manifestors and they feel like y'all would be a perfect pair together mm. and they got somebody from your past about to lose their damn mind and for some of you this person could even be keeping this to themselves here yeah we woo, there's a lot of drama over it this person could have a lot of people that want them or this person is attractive here. They could have a presence here. Someone definitely has some type of celebrity energy, right? Somebody's very fired up because I feel fired up in this energy. So someone could have significant Aries Leo Sag in their chart here, be it tropical or Vedic. But someone over here, they ready to fight anybody else trying to come next to y'all. They really are. They're not having it. Yeah, they're trying to protect this star energy here. They feel like you were theirs. There's a lot of drama about y'all's rise here. Mm. Something about that, the decisive actions that you've been taking here. And you got someone salty ass third party or you have hate nexus or people from the past here that were trying to stir up some shit energetically here. And you've just been healing straight through every single thing that anybody's been sending y'all. Yeah, woo, we got another one here. Damn. Somebody could love to have their shirt off. Or they love like wearing those, um, you know, those like white tank tops that the men wear. Like I can't call them what, it, what we normally would call them on here because they probably would say something about that. But you know what I'm talking about, right? The ones that are sleeved, this the white undershirt tank tops, right? Um, yeah. Whew. It's given I said what I said energy here. Oh, Lord. Some of you. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's trying to manifest y'all back and somebody over here is stressed the hell out over thinking about y'all we got aries leo sag heavy heavy on the aquarius gemini and libra okay yeah somebody feel real left out in the cold here because they feel your attention is somewhere else here oh my god how many fives are we gonna see five 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 here changes here Okay, somebody is about to transform into some type of beast and come somebody wants to come in between whoever else is interested in y'all here. But then what are they doing? Like that's the thing here. Someone cannot handle uh the the time spent away from you guys. Somebody could also it's like they want to take action towards you and then they and then they de they defeat their own selves within their minds before they even come towards you. There could have been a lot of mind games with somebody here. Nobody has time for all that. <laughs> yeah, we got the five of pentacles here. But see, somebody wants to come around. No, that's what it is. They want y'all to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. Because they've been watching you. Okay, some of y'all, they've been watching you in person here. They have. Because the king of swords is an elevated page of swords. Okay? So this is somebody gathering information. For some of y'all, this is somebody with the sword down. They ain't talking, but they're watching you. They could even be watching you in person. Okay. And I don't know why I'm here and they don't like what they saw, man. Like they don't like who you've been talking with or who's been flirting with you. Matter of fact, they want to do some things to that person. Who is <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> or they feel like you've been talking to somebody else online. Oh my god. Some of y'all they feel like y'all in a distance, you're emotionally distant, you're physically distant, whatever it is here. It's like no no matter how many different people trying to talk to y'all, Somebody got that type of energy, baby. They fight, they'll fight every single one. They don't give a damn. There's one energy like that. And then you got another energy that's very calculative. Uh, that, that'll, that'll come in and strategically fuck some shit up for whoever else you guys are trying to deal with. I ain't never seen a reading like this. <laughs> Whose exes are these? Oh, my God. This is crazy, y'all. This is real crazy. I'm trying to figure out what this got to do with y'all because, listen... Mm -mm. hold on I feel like I need another spread here I need some clarification like what's going on here 
what does the collective need to know because this is you know y'all fan club is what i'm feeling yeah that y'all moving forward that you have victory and success here okay that there is a partner together some of you guys there is a partner that you'll be traveling together with or you're meant to travel together with or work together with here for some of you guys it could be a difference of race here culture ethnicity um or just a blend of personalities but yeah with the chariot and the high priestess here it's like your intuition is definitely guiding you um on your next steps here right so continue praying and meditating whatever you do to get clarity yeah we got the six of cups here Okay, so of course, as you're moving forward, y'all got somebody that's studying you and watching you from the past. Okay, they feel like they have a soul connection with you. They're watching you. They feel like you are definitely getting attention from others. We already put that out there. They feel like you're very successful in whatever it is that you're doing here. And see, this person, for some reason, they can be feeling um, like they don't have as much to offer at this time, which is okay, right? People go through phases where things are up, things are down. Somebody could be rebuilding their finances here, um, and that's okay. But I feel like somebody really, I don't know if it's, they want to impress y'all or they want to come off a certain type of way. Damn, we got the moon here. Woo, y'all got multiple people from the past. They are in their feelings here. They over here, Bruno Mars, talking to the moon about y'all here. Okay? Yeah, they feel like y'all sexy as hell here. That's what I'm seeing. I do see some of y'all moving on from past people that were trying to keep third parties in, um, secret in the dark. Like, they didn't want you know, to know they was talking with such and such. I heard again, or this and this and that. Nobody has time for that. Okay? Yeah. Y'all are ready for a new beginning. Some of y'all just want to be free. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, some of y'all are just like, listen, people have been doing way too damn much. I'm just going to heal and I'm just going to explore, get to know myself more. Um, but also be open to, you know, different connections as they come, right? So some of you guys are in that type of energy. Now let's get into what the hell is going on with this five of wands. Oh, Lord. Where's your deck? Am I going to use this deck? Let me split it in half. What's going on with this five of wands? What's this drama about? Five and ones, star, we got the king of ones. Vacation, vacation together. So somebody could be fighting on a trip. <laughs> somebody could be irritated over something that uh, happened while they were on vacation, on vacation with somebody, or someone literally could want to be on a vacation with y'all or somebody could be upset that you about, they feel like you about to take a vacation with somebody else or they feel like you've been spending time with somebody else. Oh, hell no. <laughs> That's the craziest combination ever. Y'all listen. Oh, somebody upset because somebody was, I guess they was busting it open on a trip. But with somebody else, I don't know. Somebody on fire though. Somebody a dirty bird. <laughs> What's this five of wands about? Somebody fighting over who gave what to who. And they was drinking down at the bar. They were supposed to go up to the room. They didn't go back up to the room with them. They was caught somewhere else. Or somebody treated on a trip. Who is this? That's not going to be for everybody. <laughs> Yeah, somebody real <laughs> I feel like a bunch of crap going on in the background with different people and y'all are unfazed here okay or somebody could be mad watching you guys go on some type of vacation they mad because they were dealing with Carmisha or Quan and they done caught something that they irritated about and that person was inconsistent anyways <laughs> so crazy <laughs> No, now they want to make y'all an offer, y'all. I don't got time. Somebody, or they know somebody else new is about to come in and make you an offer. Somebody about to make you an offer. Or you have multiple people here that want to make you an offer. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here. But I put it on this King of Swords, so... Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energies significantly in somebody's natal chart. Oh, Lord pathological liar came out on the side so maybe you felt like this person lied to you in the in the past here i feel like they don't necessarily want to lie no more <laughs> oh, lord they don't want to lie no more or they can't lie about their feelings for you anymore they can't lie about it they can't somebody here i'm hearing all mine they want you to be all theirs all theirs 
They'll be damned if you move on with somebody else. It don't even matter if they were dealing with somebody else. Crazy. Woo! Damn. There's somebody getting some badass karma, though. What is this about? What is this bad karma about? Hold on. Hold on. What is this bad karma about? Something someone could have did while they were under the influence. Somebody could drink a lot. What's this bad karma about? Somebody is worried. Also, oh, somebody is going through... Maybe somebody thought they were going to receive something here. Or maybe somebody stopped talking to you guys in a really painful way because they were invested somewhere else. But they have seen, because this was coming out in reverse, they're, they're losing a lot of money in a third party situation. This person is worried that you're about to be happy with somebody else here. This third party is mainly worried about the money. <laughs> or somebody feels like they're going through it, but they feel like they're watching you and you're about to be more set, like more financially, uh, ooh, that light was crazy, more financially abundant here. Wow, what's going on here? Woof. Well, somebody is wor yeah, somebody here is real worried about like what you have coming towards you. Yeah, we got cock blocking over here. This person doesn't want you with anybody else, but like I said, somebody could have been living a lie with another person in a relationship, or you could have been in a relationship with this person and this person was dishonest as hell. But they're worried about missing out on some type of finances or everything that they have invested into a situation here. Yeah, somebody's over that shit. Like, they're over it. Somebody could be ignoring somebody as well. Um, or they feel like somebody that they're dealing with, like, their main focus is only money. Someone is not as quick to answer somebody's calls if, like, people are separated here. Somebody could even be blocked as well. What is this about? Yeah, damn, we got a thief here. So for some of you here, somebody could be ignoring um, somebody that they feel was trying to take something from them. Whoever's in this energy, somebody is ignoring somebody that could have even been deceptive with somebody else or partnering together with somebody else. And... Um, and they were shady. Shady. Some of you, it's a shady-ass couple. <laughs> it's a shady ass. Somebody was a gold digger. Or for some of you, they feel like they can't fully ignore somebody that they know is a gold digger. Because maybe they got a kid or kids with this person. And they feel like they got to pay this person, you know, to help take care of their responsibilities, of course. Uh, but they feel like it's just never enough here. Somebody's had enough here. Somebody's had enough. Yeah, they've had enough. Some of y'all, they ain't even having sex with this third party that's at a distance or that they've disconnected with. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So there's that. So those are different, uh, different energies here. Some of you guys, it could be the same person, but I'm really picking up on like two different people. So, uh... And I'm feeling like for some of y'all, it's two different past people. Like maybe you had somebody that, you know, you invested a lot in and they did the fuck it up most, right? And you was like, done, done. And then you had somebody else where things were, you know, didn't really get off the ground the way that they could have, but it wasn't as horrible as another situation. Whoever I'm picking up on though, that's, that's kind of the tea on what's going on with them. I feel like you guys are still in the energy of where you're really healing. It's a lot of healing energy that you guys are going through. Look at all this Cancerian energy, right? Appropriate for in tropical astrology yet being cancer season here. But a lot of people are being triggered about things related to the fourth house. But see, the moon is Cancerian and Piscean energy, which is also the 12th house, right? Which talks about the subconscious. It could talk about illusions, right? It could talk about um, spiritual depth spiritual elevation it could even talk about hidden enemies here so i feel like a lot of hidden enemies are being exposed in people's lives here which is giving them you know which is a catalyst to them moving forward here 
and away from different situations here. But somebody trying to pop back up. Somebody trying to pop back up. One person is still on that bullshit. The other person here, I feel like they they're spent too much time in their mind to even really get it together. Or they always trying to... I don't know. Someone could be really smart. It's almost the energy of someone feeling like they're smarter than most. But, damn, somebody being haunted right now. What is this about? What they being haunted about? What is somebody being haunted about? <sighs> Woo, something that they did. Seven of Swords in the upright. Somebody could be haunted. Somebody could be scared. Somebody could be after somebody as well. Ooh, damn, there's Carmisha or Quan. Oh, somebody is haunted by who they partner together with. Somebody could owe somebody money here or something. They Or they promised something to a third party here. This third party could be getting different people to work against somebody. And they're, and they're keeping it on the hush here. Wow, somebody really needs... Someone really needs to uh, think twice about who is in their damn circle here. Because somebody is real deceptive. They're not telling the truth. Okay, somebody is volatile. They're angry here. Um, yeah, and for a lot of you, somebody, you have people that are upset because they see you growing. They see you healing. They see you expanding here and moving forward. And they're upset about your growth. So you have an ex that's upset about your growth or feeling some type of way because they feel like they should be growing with you. And then you could have um, a third party that's just crazy as hell trying to do the damn most. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Let's see, which deck should I use? Let me see what's going on with that Nine of Swords. Let's see what's going on with that Nine of Swords. Which deck are we going to use here? Uh, what's the Nine of Swords here for the collective? Okay, so someone could be worried about apologizing to y'all here. Okay, for some of y'all, your spiritual team is whooping somebody's ass here. Somebody wants to apologize that they haven't been um, as focused on you because they feel like they've been tied up in another situation here. Okay. Or they allowed themselves to stay stuck in another situation that they knew they could have gotten out of. Take it as it resonates. What's the seven of swords though for the collective? Yeah. Somebody that was being, <laughs> yeah. Somebody trying to sneak and see what the hell y'all up to. They could be spying through divination, right? getting readings here um they want to have a conversation with y'all here be careful that somebody don't get pregnant in the mix somebody could already be pregnant here or that might even happen and if so they gonna hide it they they are going to keep it on the low <laughs> oh hell no what's going on today okay Listen, what's the Knight of Swords here? Or somebody could even be getting a reading and trying to see whether or not you guys are uh, <laughs> having a baby with somebody else. Wow, people doing too damn much here. This person, this Knight of Swords over here. So you got somebody, but how much do you want? I mean, you got this ex over here, okay? They ready to fight anybody else that is trying to deal with you. They could have some type of situation going on maybe involving a baby or pregnancy or whatever. Or if not, this person over here just got Karmisha or Kwan crazy as hell in the background and, and, and watching and studying you because they feel like this person really wants y'all over here, okay? And the whole time, somebody a fucking clown, man. Like, they just want their cake and to eat it too. <laughs> like, somebody, yeah, someone might have a sweet tooth here, but somebody plays entirely too much. What the hell? Tell me more. I need to know. I feel like somebody wants to have a conversation. What other deck could I use to figure out what the hell this conversation is about? What's this Nine of Swords here? Prior obligations, hands tied. <sighs> yeah. Somebody over here living a lie with somebody else here. 
or they were in a relationship and they weren't being faithful and they're worried because they know they've been doing some shit they shouldn't be doing and they're going to have to apologize here yeah and they and they about to get served karma this is the justice card this is libra energy here like why won't somebody just break free of where they really don't want to be right seriously and if somebody gonna cheat then it's like maybe they just need to not get themselves into relationships or be in a contract anyways oh my god what's going on seven of swords please having a conversation what do they want this conversation to be about Ooh, damn they want to have a conversation somebody's mad and wants to have a conversation here it says annihilate intentions to destroy or remove someone from the picture here so somebody over here they could have been dealing with somebody that was doing something strange for some change at ae paying for different you know uh i don't even know what to call it this you know sex activities or something of that sort um whoever that person is that person is real mad and holding a grudge here because they feel like this person wants to talk to you so they could be getting readings on you or you could have a salty ex that's been getting readings on you that's mad that they're not able to speak with you so now they're getting readings and they're holding a grudge here and they they could have been trying to end something for you in the past what the hell hold on yeah because they fed up in whatever situation that they're dealing with here yeah and they're also fed up with this opportunist here huh so put me some hearts down below some tea emojis thank you guys for spending time with me i love you guys namaste